Well, let's talk about another major theme that we're tracking here today. Higher for longer is more than just a term for the Federal Reserve, economists, and high-level academics. It matters to all of us in different ways. Last week, Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic added fuel to the debate, saying he expects just one, just one rate cut this year. And this came after the Fed held rates at a more than 20-year high. That's between five and a quarter and five and a half percent. Now, consumers are feeling those rates, especially those with credit card debt. To break down how to deal with high interest rates on your credit card bill, we've got Yahoo Finance's very own Kendall Little here with us. Hey, Kendall. Hi. What's the first thing that people need to consider in a higher for longer environment and how that relates to their credit card spending as well? Yeah, definitely. So the Fed's decision to keep rates high really means that cardholders are going to see a continuation of the high rates that they've seen kind of accumulating over the past couple of years. So that means it's more important than ever to really pay down your balances as much as possible. Say, for example, you had a 16% interest rate on your card two years ago. If that's up to 22% now, then that could mean hundreds more in interest charges uh, per year, depending on your balance. And so as we're continuing to track this, of course, it comes with the mindset that there has been more credit card debt that's been accumulated here. Where, where do we sit right now? on the kind of scale of, of history, if you will. <laughs> yeah, credit card debt is definitely on the rise, and that means that you know, for consumers who do have credit card debt, it's more important than ever to really pay those balances down. Kendall Little of Yahoo Finance fame joining us here on set. Thanks so much, Kendall. Appreciate it.